in, you know, in the next few years, for example? I mean, how extreme do you think it might be when you have those two consumer empires on either side of the planet? By 2025, I mean, levels are really are difficult to even imagine. Do about gold, you know, gold with its inflation dynamics, 10 times higher than it is now, five times. I mean, multiples, silver, you know, $100. You're talking about things that, things that are really difficult to comprehend. But that's what happens at the end. You end up with this super whoosh. It's exponential. Who could imagine where U.S. stocks got to? And if you were back 10 years ago, it's the same whoosh that takes place right. in that final surge. So that final surge is going to be hugely challenging. And for a Western economy, a big problem because, you know, this sort of incremental growth model with low interest rates that, you know, kept sort of, a, <laughs> how can you call it? An intensive care unit keeping an old person alive right. and Europe is especially like that and America's become like that the only opportunity is to create a high growth highly innovative economy and the only country in Europe that, or in the West that can do that is Britain and there's a decision that has to be made swiftly by our government in terms of what type of economy can survive a stagflationary environment and there is only one it's a high growth low tax regime and it isn't a question of the preference of whether you believe in low taxes, whether you think it's morally right, whether you get revoted. There is only one survival strategy available as stagflation consumes the Western world. And that is low tax, high investment regimes with, with high innovation.